Hello and welcome to Spa Francorchamps for the sixth round of the 2014 International GT Open. The team's been on summer break since Silverstone in mid-July, but this legendary home of the Belgian Grand Prix is the perfect way to kick out the Blues. The championship battle is still very close between Miguel Ramos and Nicky Pastrelli in the Corvette and the Velour Course Ferrari of Andrea Montermini and Nicolo Schiro. But before we get into this weekend's action, let's recap on what happened at Silverstone. Silverstone it was a newcomer to the championship that TF Sport Aston Martin, Darren Turner and Jody Fannin had made the early running Turner swooping through cops, moving clear of Andrea Montermini. Montermini then went further down the order after being tipped into a spin after an overambitious manoeuvre from Roman Mavlanov. So then the turn of Mavlanov's SMP Russian Bears teammate, Jose Perez Icar, who was also in the wars, rotating one of the eight racing Corvettes, and then losing ground immediately after to another. Well, as ever, Montermini could be relied upon for a charging drive as he sought to come up through the field. The action was fast and frantic. Fortunately, Montermini then made contact with Joel Cometheus at the loop, the Autolando Sport Porsche having a half spin. A late safety car bunched the field, and as Jody Fannin made good his escape out front, behind there was plenty of action to enjoy. As Tatumlu was pushed wide, Fannin and Turner came through for their maiden international GT Open victory. GTS honours going the way of Matteo Beretta and Joel Cometheus in the Autolando Sport Porsche. Drama then at the start of race two, Nicky Pastrelli, the championship leader, tipped into the spin, so no points for he nor Miguel Ramos. Also rotating early on was Giorgio Roda and Alvaro Barber. Once more, the Aston Martin was flying in the hands of Jody Fannin. As he eased past the Orlando Sport Porsche in the early stages. So did Daniel Zampieri, also making progress to the Lorba Course Ferrari of Shiro and Montermini. Late on, Archie Hamilton demoted for second place by the charging Darren Turner as Andrea Montermini had a huge last lap spin. So it was victory, the second of the season for Roma Vlanov and Daniel Zampieri. The SMP Russian Bears Ferrari still very much in the title fight. A super second for the TF Sport Aston Martin. And third for Hamilton and Tumlu. Good day to everyone. Here we are in the spa francorchamps circuit, one of the most beautiful circuits in the world. Here we are in the main straight of the, the start. And uh, here we come to the first corner of uh, La Source, where you have to break uh, really hard, go really and on the curbs, uh, and uh, go on the power maximum less that you can. Then you go on the straight for uh, the Eau Rouge, one of the most uh, beautiful corner in the world. You have to come a little bit slower in the first part to push uh, the gas immediately and go faster all for the uh, for the straight. Here are the straight of Camel, and here you come to Lecombe, where you break uh, 120 meters. You have to sacrifice the first uh, right and the first left to push immediately the gas for to be in the, in, the, in, the, in the last uh, right. Then you come here, you break in uh, next to the corner. You have to break uh, a lot, uh, also because it's downstairs, you have uh, much under steering. And it's also this corner, you have to prepare it because there is uh, always bump and uh, is, uh, there is always under steering. Then Puon, where uh, is one of the fastest corner so you have to break a little bit and uh, try to control the car with the oversteering you break like a uh, 100 meter before you have to be close to the curbs on the right sacrifice the right to prepare the left and push the gas immediately then the first of Stavelot where you break uh, next to the cor the curbs you stay in the right and then you have to push immediately the gas to prepare the second Stavelot and uh, all the, the straight that goes to the Blanchimont. This is the long straight where uh, you can uh, take many speed. Here there is the Blanchimont, 
that is a quite hard corner where you have to, to leave the gas and push it down immediately. And the, the last corner, the bus stop, where you break like 150 meters. First gear, stay close to the first right to prepare the left, and then the straight, where you have to push immediately the gas to be fast uh, to the end line. Archie Hamilton in the SRT Corvette who led away from pole position in the first race at Spa as the rest of the field jostled for ground through that source. Through they come for the first time, Vlashtad Maliev says company could almost making contact as the Nova Drive Rowdy pushed out towards the barrier. Meanwhile, Stefano Cattuso, Matt Griffin and Daniel Zampieri were having a super scrap a little bit lower down the order. Eventually though, Griffin was overhauled by both Cattuso and the charging Zampieri. Richard Lawrence in his GT Open debut got a little bit too close for comfort with AF course teammate Paolo Ruberti through La Source and the Italian driver went, was rotated. Meanwhile, Archie Hamilton, having led early on, was passed first by Maxime Soule and then by Daniel Zampieri as the British driver struggled with power steering issues. A puncture for Zampieri then prompted an early pit stop right at the opening of the pit window. But then the race was turned its head Power steering issue for Isaac Tumlu coming through Eau Rouge, the SRT driver in the tyre wall, and that pr prompted a lengthy safety car. The safety car coming as it did right in the middle of the pit window gave us a somewhat jumbled order, and it allowed Miguel Ramos and Nicky Pastrelli, who pitted in early, to break clear of the rest of the field and come through for a comfortable victory, extending their championship lead. Delight for the V8 racing team. Second place going to passing the Thoras and Richard Lyons and third to Duncan Cameron and Matt Griffin. The Thoris and Lions also claiming the GTS honours. So much to celebrate on the podium after the first race, as ever full of intrigue and excitement. For the Thoris and Lions, the perfect GT Open debut. Great. I mean, uh, we didn't expect this at all before the race. Uh, we were a bit lucky with the uh, safety car, uh, but you know, sometimes you have to be lucky. We have been unlucky as well the last race in Silverstone, so this uh, turns it around again. It's perfect for the championship, and uh, yeah, tomorrow we start more up front, so let's hope to do good as well. Uh, the car is difficult here in this circuit. I think we didn't yet found the, the right setup. But uh, the race is race, so it happened now. We we're lucky. We're, as Nicky said in Silverstone, we were in the first corner out. So at least uh, some joy and hope tomorrow we can fix the setup of the car to be faster because we are okay, but not as we want. For us, it's really all about making points. We want to finish and do every race points, and that's what we need to do to the end of the championship. Um, well, it couldn't be much more perfect. Um, you know, for us, uh, we came here with high expectations. We had already raced uh, in British GT at this circuit, so we had a good run then. And uh, actually, to come out with a, a win uh, was just amazing. We kind of uh, had some delays in the pit stop, but um, we recovered pretty well. And uh, after that, when we were out, and I saw the safety car signed, and the team said after one or two laps that I was in P2. I was like, okay, so it just keeps me, yeah, I just kept on pushing, just trying to manage the tires. No, I think that was the hardest bit for us, and then and, and we came out with a win, so it was, it was the best result. On to race two, and after an all-nighter from the SRT Corvette team, the repaired car, this is my hands visor to Tumlu, led away from pole. It's behind the Auto Orlando Sport Porsche. Matteo Bretta was an early casualty with a quick spin through Lake Cobb. A more important casualty was that of Nicky Pastrelli. With issues with gear selection, the Corvette driver, championship leader, forced into early retirement. Also out before the race was very old, was Fonda Constantini and Giorgio Roda, 
to contact into the bus stop chicane. That prompted the safety car bunching up the field as they headed in to the mandatory pit stops. That gave Andrea Montermini every opportunity in the Vlaubert course Ferrari to potentially snatch the championship advantage. Also flying in the air, of course, Ferrari was Matt Griffin having one of his strongest showings of the weekend of the year so far as he was able to overhaul Vashtad Maliev to take the GTS lead. So it's victory for Tutumlu and Hamilton making up the disappointment of race one. For Hamilton, this is maiden victory in this National GT Open. Tumlu to light with his second triumph of the year. Second place went to Mavlanov and Zampieri and third to Andrea Montermi and Niccolo Shiro. The GTS honours going to Matt Griffin and Duncan Cameron and the AF Course team. To be honest, I'm absolutely over the moon. Um, we got double pole this weekend. Um, the SRT Corvette team has been absolutely fantastic. We had a good race yesterday until we had a power steering failure, um, five laps in. Um, and Isaac unfortunately made him go into the wall and the team have um, worked all night to get the car fixed and um, I've really got to thank V8 Racing, uh, we wouldn't be here racing today if it wasn't for them lending us parts so that just shows the spirit of the championships as you fantastic and uh, I really thank them and this one's for the team that worked really late last night. Day when I was in the car I thought oh my god tomorrow we're not racing I'm going home because it was a really bad crash but uh, luckily, we just crashed on the side, so it was all body work. And as Archie said, we thought the big effort of the team, which they are doing an amazing job. And also, thanks a lot to V8 Racing, who gave us some spare parts to be able to race here today. We wouldn't be in first position. And, and after all, we, we changed the shocks to different, really, from yesterday, because the yesterday one were broken and we didn't have the same. We didn't know how the car was going to be, but the car was still great and so happy. And, and Archie did uh, an amazing job also, not making any mistakes. And uh, we are here. Weekend of fantastic drama then here in Spa. Andrea Montermini and Niccolo Shiro, the new championship leaders, by just a single point over Ramos and Pastorelli, with Mavlanov and Zampieri very much in the mix. There's everything to race for in the final four races of the season. We'll look forward to seeing you in Monza.